I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about simplifying radical equations. So if I was given this problem, the square root of 100, v to the third power, okay? Well, 100, I can break down into my prime factorization. And that's, well, it's pretty simple, quick, right? 10 times 10. And I could keep breaking it down, and I will actually, but I can keep breaking it down, but if you know your pairs, I've already broken down into 10 times 10, you can kind of circle that pair at this point, um, but... For good measure, let's just do a complete prime factorization. <clears throat> 10 is 2 and 5, and this 10 is 5 and 2. All right, so 2 times 5 and 5 times 2, okay, gives us 10. You'll see kind of why, for circling reasons, why I wrote it like that. v to the third power is just v times v times v, okay? So now we have our prime factorization. 100 is 2 times 5 times 5 times 2, and v to the third power is v times v times v. Let's circle our pair. So we have a pair of fives right here in the middle, and then a pair of twos. That's circle like that. <laughs> but I have a pair. I have a pair of Vs. Okay? So when I break this down and simplify, okay, my prime factorization, or I simplify it out my pairs, a pair of two on the outside of the square root, a pair of fives on the outside, so we put one down, and a pair of V on the outside. Then we have the square root here of what's left, a single, which is just the only single left is a V. Okay? So now we simplify. Two times five is ten. So we have 10v times the square root of v, and that is a final simplified answer. So let's recap. We're given the square root of 100v to the third power. I did my prime factorization. When I did that, I had 2 times 5 times 5 times 2 times v times v times v. Okay? Grab my pairs, my circle of pairs, my 2s and my 5s, uh, and I put singles, uh, put them on the outside, the pairs on the outside representing, all right, 2 times 5 right there, and a pair of v's, right, right there. And the inside was just one loner v, wasn't circle. And so the square root. Then from there, I simplified 2 times 5 was 10. And so I had 10v times square root of v. Now you can see what I was talking about, a pair of 10s, if I had just circled that pair, I would have been done. And you can see I still would have gotten the outside if I circled that 10. Uh, one, one pair of 10 on the outside, there's nothing else to break down. You can do it that way. But for a good measure right now, we're just going to simplify all the way. Either way, our final answer here is just 10v times the square root 